excited to talk to you about all these things. I'm actually sorry I missed you. I was at San Diego Comic Con last year and I interviewed with the cast of Preacher. Oh, really? Yeah, we had a good time. Which, which, which year was that? Last year. Oh, last year? Where I were you? I wasn't there that year, was I? No, I couldn't go. I couldn't go. I used to joke with people who came in as guest stars that I just said, well, look, there's no point in me really getting to know you because mm -hmm. uh, you'll be dead by the end of the day. So, um, <laughs> yes, they were. They were. They might as well just, just have left their car running. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> If I'm going to pick up, if I'm going to learn anything about uh, Scotland and stuff like that, clan lands and men and kills seems to be the way to go for me. Talk me through like. Definitely. Right. Talk me through the process of, of that and your journey mm. with Sam on making this book. And gosh. Sam. Yeah. Well, it started. Oh, gosh. Let me think. Well, to be honest with you, I, I wrote a treatment um, called Clan Lands in 1992. Ooh. And it was a treatment. The idea was um, that at that time, you know, uh, I suddenly thought, oh, you know, people are interested in Scottish heritage and everything. And I wanted to do a show. And of course, in those days, it was going to be like on DVD and yeah. all the rest of it. Um, do a show and try and connect people with their clans. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you were a Cameron who lived in America, you know, you, I we'd make a show that was about the Camerons and then we'd make a show about the McDonald's. And so that was, that was the idea then. And then that didn't work. Nobody was interested. Nobody was interested. And, um, and then cut to doing Outlander. And I've always been interested in Scottish history. Love, love it. Love history. Mm -hmm. uh, but Scottish history, I knew a lot about. And I, I remember talking to Sam about it and saying, I really want to do a show about Scottish history, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I think Sam just ignored me at the time. It was like, yeah, whatever. Um, sure, it sounds uh, great, fine. Yeah, 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 exactly. And um, then uh, I was in New Zealand, my house in New Zealand, and um, he rang me up and he said, hey, listen, um, that documentary idea, you know, are you still interested in doing that? Uh, and I went, yeah, yeah, of course, I would, I'd love to. And he said, yeah, I thought that might be something you and I could do together. I think it would be a lot of fun. And I went, okay, great. Um, he said, yeah, we could do it as a podcast. And I pretended to know what a podcast meant. So <laughs> I went, yeah, great, a podcast, yeah. And, um, and he went, yeah, yeah. So, and we, we chatted about that for a little while. And then he rang me back about a week later and he said, yeah, you know, about that podcast, I think we could film it, actually film it. And I was like, okay, what, like just, just us talking? Like, yeah, he said, yeah, like a conversation. So we could do it on GoPros. And I went, right. Now, I, I, I knew enough about GoPros okay. to know, okay, so how's that going to work? Am I going to like have one strapped to my head and you're going to have one strapped to your head? And I mean, how do I turn it on? And, you know, it was all this going on. And, uh, and then about a week after that, he rang and said, um, actually, I think we should really film it. Um, and it went from basically a podcast mm -hmm. to a three camera shoot with a drone uh, with a full crew. And we, um, we shot it uh, last year and um, we, uh, we took it to stars, uh, obviously, because they were the obvious choice. Right. And um, the, they were interested in it from the get go. And so Sony and stars um, have bought the show and, and you know, and that's, that's, gonna, that's happening and it's gonna be out. But the book, the book really only came about while we were doing the show. Um, I was going to ask if one came first. Yeah, it was the show first, but the, with the book, I mean, I've always wanted to write a book. Okay. Um, in fact, I used to write books when I was a teenager. I used to write adventure Plays novels. too, correct? Yes, yeah, so I wrote a play um, about Vincent van Gogh that we toured all over the world, actually, mm -hmm. in the 80s and 90s. Um, but I've always, always wanted to write a book. And... I spoke to Sam about it and I've kept a diary uh, all my life. And uh, I said, you know, we had some pretty crazy experiences making this show. Um, and we approached uh, a publisher and they jumped at the idea. They went, yeah, this sounds great. And so um, cut to like February of this year mm -hmm. 
And we're thinking, okay, we've got to write this book. We've got to write this book. Now, Sam was due to start on back on Outlander, I think in May. Uh, I was due to start on a show in April. Um, and we were thinking, oh my God, how are we going to make this work? And we need to write this book and everything like that. And then, of course, coronavirus came along. And uh, all we could do was write right. a book. Yeah, there you <laughs> and go. We had four and a half months of uh, just that was all we did. We would speak to each other at least once a week, mm -hmm. um, go over what we'd written. And, and it turned into a sort of um, it's almost like a, not a conversation, but it's two contrasting points of view of the, the same event. So we were both present at everything that occurs, mm -hmm. but Sam's version of it and my version of it are somewhat different. Okay. <laughs> and so, uh, I mean, that's part of it. And okay. part of it is just straight us talking about things that passionately interest us about mm -hmm. Scotland. So in Sam's case, that can be mountaineering. Uh, in my case, that can be, you know, something like the massacre of Glencoe, uh, the different clans, the feuds, all of that. So my, my real thrust in the book was the historical. Mm -hmm. and, and, Sam's, and Sam's was really um, pretty much doing his best to put me in as many perilous situations as possible, um, which he succeeded in doing, yes. What it kind was, of situations? Um, what, can you, what can you divulge? Oh, my God. Well, well, I mean, it was all the modes of transport. That we okay. Were. So, you know, we were on a tandem bike now at one point. I mean, mm -hmm. the camper alone was this just appalling, broken down. It was like a shoebox on wheels. It was awful. <laughs> uh, that, that was, that was we, we drove around in that for the whole time. And then there was this tandem. Now, people think of tandem bikes and, oh, yeah, you know, I mean, I've got a nice bike and you've probably got a bike and, mm -hmm. you know, they have, they have several gears. And this was like a rusting piece of farm machinery <laughs> that, that it, it was just this solid piece of iron. And I made the mistake of um, getting on the front. And have, have you ever ridden a tandem bike? Nope. No, not to be recommended. No. Nope. Not, not to be recommended. Well, it's the person at the back that's the problem because they affect the weight. Oh. Uh, and of course, you know, the whole, every, everything, the physics of the entire thing changes. Right. Um, now, it's okay if the person at the back is contributing to the riding of the bicycle. Uh, but in my case, uh, that wasn't happening. So I had Sam, I thought he was pedaling, but looking back at the actual footage, it emerges that he was just sitting with his legs sticking out of the side and uh, just uh, like a dead weight with me doing all the work. Um, <laughs> so it was, a real, it was a real opportunity for him to really explore my grumpy side. I cannot believe that this was your idea of a good time. We take the piss out of each other a lot, oh. um, which is a very Scottish thing to do. Um, but it's, so the tone of the book is serious in the sense that we are dealing with real events and mm -hmm. we meet real extraordinary people, people you couldn't make up, they're so bizarre, um, but it's all done uh, in a quite light-hearted way. Um, we're having fun, and hopefully people watching the show and reading the book will also have fun. Well, besides Instagram, where else can people find you to keep up Twi to date? Oh, Instagram, Twitter. Um, uh, I've, um, I've discovered this new little app where I do messages for people uh, oh. called Cameo that I do. Um, and that's, that's actually that's really fun, you know. Because it's always, they're always really nice, they're always celebrations of birthdays and anniversaries and Mother's Days and all that sort of thing. And I, and I do those. Um, so that's a way of uh, communicating with me. Otherwise, um, yeah, Instagram and Twitter uh, are the, the main ways. Go do your thing. Take care. Thank you I will. so much. Bye. Bye. Of dogs of the breeze, oh, come, come here, on flesh to feed. Yeah.